All right, so let's make a train body. <clears throat> Not make a train body. Let's make a train. Notice I've already assembled it. Pretty cool. Um, it's challenging, but you know that's what we're here for. Uh, I think it's easier than Autodesk Inventor. So anyway, I have all my files in here, so I'm gonna go into Miniature Train Project. There's the actual assembly, so I'm gonna make one called Practice. Here's all my pieces. So let's create a document. Let's call it JT Miniature Train Project Practice. And put a date on it. This, by the way, is like my third or fourth try on this. So don't feel bad if you're struggling. Opens up. There's nothing here. Now, this bothers me. I don't know why they do it this way. I'm just not practiced enough with Onshape, but I go into assembly and I just insert things. Uh, other documents under my on shape e-learning I gotta be honest that's wrong of course the file management system is pretty straightforward so click part one uh, I did that too fast I'll show you in a second put it in there and let's zoom out a little bit so part two stack I click it then I hit the part itself I'm gonna put it up here and off we go hitch magnet click part one drop it off back here hitch peg hit part one drop it off back here wheel now we got a little problem here we need four of these uh, I'd love to say there's an easy way to put all four in at one time um, maybe I can just copy it no it doesn't even pick the whole thing so I'll just click it it's not the end of the world I'm just always looking for a shortcut and at the wheel, the axle peg, we also need four of these. One, two, come on, there we go, three. You see it's a little bit laggy here. I, I do have a few softwares running, but I think it's more because it's all online. two linkages uh, four of these one two three and cow catcher surprisingly I found the cow catcher one of the hardest things to put on um, and it's not I don't know why I did that so things are placed wherever they're placed let us start with the chimney, which I think is what it's called. Um, so up here we are insert, we have fastened mate, we have revolute mate, and that's almost all I'm going to use. Then we have slider mate, nope, not going to use it. Planer mate, nope, not going to use it. Uh, I actually might use that, no, no I'm not. Cylindrical mate, pin slot, ball, parallel, tangent. So, a lot of similar ones, but they're all laid out. This one says, put it in and don't let anything happen to it. Now, watch carefully. See where the hole is? That's where I want it. That's the circle around the top. So, I want that to match up with this one. And it bothers me a little bit that i got to kind of rotate it. See that? That's the one I want. Not that one, not the mid-plane one. So I click that, and bang, it goes in there. I have no idea what just happened. I can't see anything. But well, wait, there it is. Kind of where I wanted it. Remember, it's CAD, so if you screw it up, you can always say, change mine. And I hit that green one, and it actually keeps this up here saying, oh, you want to do another one, which I didn't, but that's okay. So there it is. Now, let's get out of that. If I grab it and try and rotate it, it doesn't move. It just moves the whole thing. Oh, I forgot something very important, and I should have done it ages ago. So let's see if it'll let me do this. Nah, it's got all this stuff separate. Oh, no, it doesn't. Picked part one, right-clicked on it, fix what we call mate in Autodesk Inventor. 
Alright, so now I'm trying to drag it, it doesn't go anywhere. Grab this and drag it. Yeah, it goes. This doesn't it doesn't rotate. Nothing happens. It's just sitting there. Alright, so that's how we do that one. I am gonna grab I'll try and grab this thing. No. Oh yeah. And get it out of the way. Now we're gonna do wheels. Wheels we wanna use this revolution thing and you're gonna get real ticked at this but trust me I'll get you where you gotta go so let's do the back wheel and again we want the front not like something far away, far away. and then we gotta go on the back so this is why you have to be so handy with the mouse and you want that one right there the other part of this that bothers me is I don't get that nice little plinking noise that you get an inventor. Now, if you look carefully, it went the wrong way, at which point you go, ah, oh, man, this again, and no, it's real easy. These arrows are going to solve all my problems. So it opened up this little extra window over here, and I'm just flip it. There it is. Check. Done. It's in the right spot. It's made it up. Let's try and rotate it, shall we? Um, get out of this first because I might have just selected something. Rotate it around. It spins. Which is pretty cool. Um, I want to undo that because I actually wanted it. Oh, that was really dumb. I uh, wanted it in the same spot. Let's see if it'll take me back there. Hey, it did. That was lucky. Undo. Good. Put it there. Uh, I'll come back and do the pin and everything else on that. I'm going to do the other tire first. So, zoom in. Make sure you get the one on the front. Spin it up. Make sure you get the one on the front. So there's a lot of zooming in to make sure you get the right stuff. Spin it. Oh no, it's wrong. Flip it. We're good to go. Check mark. Now, they both went there, but they're not actually what I want. And this is annoying. I'll fix it in a minute. I'll try to fix it in a minute. It's not the end of the world. Most of you are going to ignore this, and I kind of don't blame you. So, not fastened. I want to do a revolute. No, no, we want to do fastened. No, revolute. Tough. Okay, I'm going to put the linkage pin on. A linkage pin actually goes down here, so you got to grab that one. And I'm going to spin it around, even though I don't really need to, but couldn't hurt. Make sure I pick that. I'll come back here and hit this and spin it around so it's what I want. There we go. And this front corner. Okay. Is that what we wanted? It is. It's not attached on the back side. Yes, it is. Look. No, it's not. It's just sitting there. Alright. Get out of this revolute thing and grab it, and it revolves. Pretty cool. It should revolve because when the wheels turn, it's going to move. So, again, I want this bottom one. By the way, I did this wrong the first eight times in a row. Such is life. And then this one. And that should do it. Let's see if it can give me a better view here. Now, you might be in the middle of freaking out. Oh my lord, it moved the wheel. Well, let's see if it did or not. Check mark. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Check mark. It put it back. Alright. Here's the problem I have, and I will try and sort this out. Uh, let's get out of this. So if I grab this and move it, if I grab this and move it, not letting me. Huh. Locked everything into place. Wonder if I used the wrong feature on that last one. That's upsetting. No, I use Revolut. Well, let's see what happens when I put everything else in. So we need to put these pins in. Again, I don't want to fasten. I want to do this. And I want this piece here. Yeah, that's about right. To go right into this piece here. If 
Unfortunately, I don't have to do that thing where I flip it. It looks like it worked in pretty good. And there it is. I also want this piece here to match up with this piece here. Plink. Not looking good. And this piece, like I said, I got to zoom in, make sure I get the right one. And this piece here, wrong way, flip please, looks good, and this piece here, where'd you go, there it is, right there. So, there's the wheels. I'm going to exit out of this, see if I can make this sucker spin. Doesn't want to. Do something different today, I don't know what I did. Not the end of the world. Alright, let's do the back. So we want to... Yeah, I'll do a... No, I'll do a revolve, I don't mind them spinning. So... That. And that. It's on the wrong side. Save. And it looks like I put the wrong peg in. No. There he is. It is. Alright. So. That. And that. I had this happen a few times, by the way. It forgets one of them and. I have to go back and redo it. I'm not sure what that's all about, but see that one didn't grab. There you go, now it grabbed. That looks good. And that is about it. You have to do the other four tires, two tires, but the video is already long enough, so I'm going to cut to the chase. Things should rotate. I messed it up somehow. Um, actually, I'll try to show you what I eventually got it to do. And it gives you a chance to play with it too. Let's put this front one on. Um, I don't want this to rotate. I want... Actually, if I'm going to be accurate, I want the back to go in here in the very back. I don't know which one is grabbing me. There it is. That's the one. Now let's zoom out and see if it did it right. Okay. Now... It's not rotated properly, so let's try that. Is it on the right side? No, it's not, so flip it. Okay, and let's see if we can rotate it. Nope. Nope. Boom. Pretty cool, huh? I personally think that's a little bit easier than Inventor, but what do I know? So there we go. i got the front, wheels, hitch peg, chimney on. you got to do the other wheels on your own. I'm not doing it again. What does this look like? Uh, let's see if I can open a new document. I'll go up here. And look at the miniature train assembly. Now, I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe you were paying closer attention. But I want this whole thing to move at the same time. So there it is. So on my previous one, I got this to work. I had to look up a lot of things on Google. Same thing on the back side. Although the two tires don't turn together, which I'd like them to do, but I couldn't figure it out. Alright, so see if you get that. If not, don't worry about it. That's not critical at all. Just, it's going to look darn good. So, good luck.